what I want to do first is show that there are good pro past Republicans out there that want the Republicans to reclaim their party. They want to ensure that we don't have this uh, one party monopoly at all or that we have a group of people that are completely confused. So let's go ahead and listen to brother Steve Schmidt. Love the guy. Steve, what explains the difference today on this question between Mitch McConnell and Kevin McCarthy? Well, this division between the two, Lawrence, has been clear from the very beginning. Um, you know, Mitch McConnell tried to distance as 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 much as he would or or could uh, after the January sixth incident. Kevin McCarthy famously went down to Mar-a-Lago. In those early days, what Republicans were most worried about was the cash flow of the campaign cash. Uh, Mitch McConnell believed that. Uh, the insurrection would uh, obliterate Republicans' ability to raise money from corporate donors. Uh, Kevin McCarthy took the opposite bet. He wanted to in, uh, make sure that the Trump pipeline of cash was intact. Uh, and so right from the beginning, they have just have approached this issue differently. You know, Mitch McConnell today uh, said the obvious, which is that this was an insurrection, had a political intent. It was aimed at disrupting the peaceful transition of of power um, at, at the in the next breath, Mitch McConnell said when he was asked a question, do you have confidence in the chair chairwoman of the Republican Party, uh, who was the head of the organization that said violence is legitimate political discourse? He said he did. You know, so it's all double talk. It's double speak meant to obscure the reality that we have a two party system and one of those two parties has become an autocratic vessel in the United States. We don't live in Sweden where there's 18 different democratic parties and that the loss of one of them to autocracy, whether it's a left party or a right party, isn't such a big deal. When you have a two party system, it's an enormous deal. It's a threat to the continuation and survival of the Republic. And, and the fact of the matter is this Republican party is a coalition that includes fascists, proud boy extremists, uh, neo-Nazis, uh, people filled with racial animus, and they're all part of a coalition. And of course, those parts cannot and do not fit together. Uh, but nevertheless, it's a convenience coalition because they seek to get back into political power. And you cannot let these people back into political power under any circumstances until the autocratic movement inside that party, which dominates it completely, is underground. In effect, what he's telling he's telling good people of America, good Republicans included, at this point in time, a vote for Republicans is a vote to turn the country into a fascist state. And until that fascist nature of the Republican Party is underground, you oh, you will be unpatriotic. Any any vote for any Republican at this point in time, and this is something that I don't generally say absolutely, but I'm saying it now. Any vote for any Republican at this point in time is a vote for fascism because once they have control of the levers, there's absolutely nothing that's going to actually stop them. If you look at the meek ones who don't believe in this stuff, but, just, but they are willing to appease Trump, they're willing to appease those with the fascist intent, one cannot vote for Republicans in the next go round and consider themselves a patriotic American. That's an absolute statement. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.